Hi, in today's video, we're going to take an in-depth look at the trucker's hitch. Everything, probably, and more than you'd ever want to know. Stay tuned. Welcome to week three of four of our deep dive into the trucker's hitch. Today we'll be learning the variations of the trucker's hitch that involve different forms of the inline figure eight. This is the version that's tied in the very popular and entertaining musical version of the trucker's hitch. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll link it right up here. By the end of today's video, you'll be able to tie it with ease. As for the singing and dancing, I'm not gonna be much help. If you missed week one or two, I'll be putting links to them right up here. Week one was an overview of the what, when, and where of the trucker's hitch, plus instruction on the Alpine Butterfly version with a slipped half-hitch tie-off. In week two, we covered the sheepshank versions of the trucker's hitch. I put links to all of the camping skill courses in the description down below. Hi, if we haven't met yet, I'm John with Let's Go Now Adventures. And whether you're into tent camping or RV camping, we create videos that help you have a better camping experience. In this four week course, you'll not only be learning many different variations of the trucker's hitch, but you'll also be learning the slip knot, the two one half hitch, the tot line hitch, the alpine butterfly, the full and the half sheep shank, the inline figure eight, and how to slip any hitch. A couple of tips for learning the trucker's hitch. First, Simulate a real-world use of the trucker's hitch. Tying it in open air is difficult. Practice tying the trucker's hitch with the standing end attached to something. What this does is it secures it. It's almost like a second person helping you. In my office, I have a length of paracord tied to my desk drawer handle. What this does is it secures one end of the, the line. This allows me, when I have a minute or two, to practice my knots. Second, Think of the trucker's hitch in four steps. Step one, create a loop knot. Step two, wrap your working end around some sort of anchor. Three, thread your working end through the loop knot and pull force. And four, tie it off with some sort of hitch knot. You know, actually, the trucker's hitch is useful anytime you need to apply and gain a mechanical advantage on a line. You know, I find myself actually going to the trucker's hitch a lot for different uses that I hadn't even thought of. And so that's why it's a good knot to have in your little knot toolkit, because you'll, you'll come back to this knot and you'll find it useful over and over again. So here we go. The next loop knot we're going to tie is the inline figure eight knot. So here we go. Simple knot. All you have to do is create a, lo a loop. So we give yourself plenty of room to work with. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to cross it over. So we'll take the loop right over the, that. Then we're going to come underneath. Just like that, we're moving up. Now we'll come back down towards you. Put it through this hole right here. So it goes through that hole. Then as we tighten it, we now have a figure eight knot, but you can see that the knot naturally orients itself in this direction. That way, that way when we apply the force to this knot, it won't roll. The last way I showed you was just fine, especially in most camping situations where you're going to be putting on significant force, but not a lot of force. Now, if you ever use your trucker's hitch to really exert a lot of force and you choose to use the inline figure eight, tie it this way. It's easier to untie. So we're going to create our loop. And what we're going to do this time is we're going to take care to cross our working end over right here. So we've got the working end coming out of that loop right over the top on this end right here. We're just going to take our loop. We're going to go underneath first, underneath, and then up 
and then bring it back to you. Now you know you're going to be tying this knot correctly is your loop that you bring it back through this hole is the same hole that your working end is going into. So what we'll do is we'll just tighten that. Now you can still see there's an incredible amount of directionality with this. So the reason it's easier to untie is you've got three ropes coming out of this loop right here. To break the knot, all you do is take that loop and then just break it. That'll give you just enough room to untie it. Have you ever been learning knots and noticed that your source has some sort of notation like ABOK 1529 or ABOK 1630? and you've wondered what that meant. It means it's referencing this book, Ashley Book of Knots. This book is widely regarded as the ultimate reference for knots. There are thousands of knots represented in this book, categorized by their function. If you found this deep dive into the trucker hitch interesting, I highly recommend this book. I think you'll love it. If you'd like to check it out, I put a link to it in the description below. After the video, you should check it out. All right, let's put the whole thing together. Before we begin, remember earlier I mentioned that if you secure one end of this, it makes it so much easier because it's almost like you've got a third hand or somebody else holding the rope for you so that you've got some tension that you can pull against when you tie your trucker's hitch. So we're gonna take our loop knot and remember we want our working end to cross right there We'll go underneath, up and away, and then back down through this loop. So now we've got a loop that we can thread our working end through. So we'll thread that through. We'll pull some tension. Now remember, it's pretty easy just to pinch that off. Now what we're going to do different this time is we're going to grab both strands with two half hitches. So I'll cross that over, pull the line through. Now this one I'm pulling all the way through, tightening that up. Now I can release that. On the second half hitch, we're just going to come under. We're going to do one more, pull it up against the knot, and there we're, we're done. Now, what we learned the last time was instead of pulling the whole one through on that last half hitch, is only bring a loop through so that we can tighten it up with a slipped half hitch on that last one. Now, when we get ready to untie it, all we have to do is pull it. One half hitch is undone. Undo the other half hitch. And remember, if we tie the inline figure eight this way, that all we need to do to untie this knot is take this loop and break it. And then you should have enough slack to get the knot undone. You know, the next topic we'll be covering is basic land navigation and orienteering. So if you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it and choose all notifications. That way you'll be notified each time we release a new outdoor skills course. Of the four weeks, I'm most excited about this last one. In the last week, we're gonna be reintroducing the slip knot version of the trucker hitch. We'll also be learning a brand new experimental version of the trucker hitch I bet most of you have never seen before. What I'm excited about is I wanna show it to you, have you learn it, and then take this knot out into the real world, try it, and then let me know if it works any better than any of the other trucker hitch variations that I've shown you so far. Give me a big thumbs up. It really does help. And it helps other people be able to see our content. I'm John with Let's Go Now Adventures. Thank you so much. And I'll see you on the next adventure. <laughs>